Australian roads are long, much longer than we expected. We have three days to get from Bear Camp to Twin Falls Nature's Resort, a road trip that would take us past small towns and awful coffee places. Coffee is absolutely horrible. But also to magnificent nature and incredible nude beaches. This is beautiful! And we're only halfway. I still don't know what it is with Australians and coffee. At the sides of the road you can see all these fancy coffee bars selling lattes and things with different tastes. And there is really a coffee culture, but on the other hand, I think Everybody drinks instant coffee as well. And instant coffee is like, yeah. Instant coffee is not, yeah, it's. But instant coffee has caffeine as well, and that's the most important. I think we're about halfway to the Nature's Resort Twin Falls, where we want to end up. So we don't have to rush anymore, and it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day, and we gotta do pretty much the same as yesterday. Visit places and go to nude beaches. Thank you. It's been three days since we had a decent coffee. I think we deserve this. It's been more than a thousand kilometers. I think I deserve this. Now we're ready to go to the beach. This beach doesn't have an official parking. There are a number of beaches here and we hear that one of them is supposed to be a nude beach. I'm not sure if it's an official one, I don't think so. But we'll, yeah, we'll see. The beach we want to go to is Little Diggers Beach. The problem is that there are a number of beaches here and Google Maps doesn't show any trails. Ah, it does. I think it's that way. Would you want to live here? It's not a bad place to live. Maybe one day when we're rich and famous. The thing is, I don't want to live here because it's definitely not private enough to be naked on your property and people are just passing by in your garden, so... That's close to Nude Beach. Nah. That looks quite busy for a nude beach. I don't think it's this beach. No? I hope it's not this beach, otherwise it's not going to be a nude beach. No. So this beach is called Diggers Beach. We are looking for a little Diggers Beach. The fact that there are no signs to Little Diggers Beach can only mean two things. Either it's a very secluded beach and it's going to be a nude beach, or it's, it just doesn't exist. I don't know. It just worries me a bit that we are walking up, whereas the beach should be walking down. The track clearly isn't this way, but I can see naked people on the beach, so we're at the right beach. Let's go. Let's go, the other way. <laughs> Because we keep going to new places every time again. This is the story of our life. Just search for beaches, search for the entrance, not knowing exactly where we are going. But I think this is part of the fun. I actually enjoy doing this. I enjoy the search and then the satisfaction if you actually find it. Or the disappointment if you don't find it. But it looks like we're gonna find it this time. Should have called this place Adventure Beach. Missed opportunity. Okay. All right, quick beach review. This categorizes more like a cove than a beach. I think it's about 100 meters wide, more or less. 
it is really beautiful in the setting of the rocks and the greenery but this also takes a lot of the wind away so it's very hot here and yeah this is a bit my problem with the beaches in new south wales it can get really hot here but the water of the ocean is very cold i tried to get into the water but i didn't really make it to actual swimming because it's just it's too cold on the other side you can see the main beach from here and i think they might get a, a bit of a better breeze than us talking about the water the water is absolutely perfect it is really nice to cool down the undercurrent is not that strong here the waves are not that strong uh, but on the other side where the other beaches people are surfing so indeed i think there is way more wind over there um, and it's better to surf here there but to swim here it is beautiful when it comes to the crowds it's uh, we've seen four other couples and yeah a lot of single men I don't really like saying single men because I don't really have an idea whether they are single or not. So I'm, I'm always looking for a different word. If you're native English and you have a better word, maybe I should say solitary men or men on, the, on themselves. Let us know. Like I would like to change the word, but for now I use single men because everybody understands it. So yeah, a lot of men, some couples, but it's a, yeah, it's a very chill atmosphere. People are not looking at each other, just everybody's getting a tan, having a nap, swimming in the sea. Our visit to Little Diggers Beach will be on the rather short side because it's unbearably hot here. Some people brought tents or umbrellas, but there are a lot of people here without anything. They're just like us, but I'm not sure how they do it, but for us it's not doable. We will have to leave and yeah, try to find another beach. If you are following our Australia series, it might seem that we are very hard to satisfy. I know, I feel like I've been complaining the whole time we've been here about, about the weather. But it's just, we're not used to this extreme weather. When it rains in Australia, it really storms. When it's windy, you're afraid that you're gonna get blown away. And when it's hot, it's like you're, you're in the sauna. We're not used to this. Ah, oh, we're up. Better. A little breeze. Woo. This was our shortest nude beach visit of this trip. Well, not of the whole trip. In Victoria, we had shorter ones because it was cold and rainy, but of this part of the trip, this part of the country, but it had nothing to do with the beach. The beach was beautiful. It just, we picked the wrong time of the day. Later today, we're gonna try to visit another one, but first, I think we're gonna try to do the lunch at the coasting again. Coffs Harbour has been recommended to us a number of times. It also seems like a very popular place, but maybe not as popular as Byron Bay. And at least we found the parking spot. We're just a 10 minute drive from the nude beach, but uh, it feels a lot more agreeable here just because of the breeze. You see, I can say good things about Australian weather as well. This looks like the perfect place to have some seafood. I mean, just... <laughs> it's a harbor. Yeah, look at all the boats. Yes, we do. If you ever happen to be in Coffs Harbour, the Fisherman's Co-op is definitely a recommendation. Food is delicious and it's also quite cheap. And this is something we didn't really expect about Australia. The country itself is quite expensive. Many things are expensive, but the food is not that expensive at all. The platter that we got for two people was about 30 Australian dollars. That's less than 20 euros. That's less than 23, 24 US dollars. And now that our stomachs are full again, we can go for another ride because sometimes we would forget with all the nude beaches and the food and the beautiful places that we actually have a long drive to do. But normally within an hour, an hour and a half, we should be at another nude beach.
The last nude beach on our list is North Smoky Beach. Other than the other beaches we visited, this one is not close to a, a tourist town or tourist city. There is a popular lighthouse here, so there are some people, but I'm curious if there will be a lot of people on the beach. Looks like this might be a save the best for last moment. Do you still want to go? Because we can see it from here, like it's a beautiful beach, we can do the beach preview from here. No, 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 we're definitely gonna go. Definitely gonna go. Yeah, this is spectacular. It's beautiful, it's long, it's wide. There are not too many people, so we can easily shoot video. Look at this. Not bad. Not bad for Thursday evening. Fortunately, it's already 4.30 or so in the afternoon. So we can't spend a lot of time, but at least the sun is down, so it's not that very hot anymore. I think that this has become a habit. And at most of the beaches, we always go to the far end because we want to get away from the people so we can film. Here, that's a, this is a huge beach. There are hardly any people, so we could sit anywhere. But still, look, Vince is going to the far end. The beach even comes with a private jacuzzi. I would almost dare to say that this water is uh, agreeable. It's still kind of cold. Come on, man. <laughs> but I'm, I'm in, I'm in waist deep. Wait. Waist deep is far enough. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I have, hurry, 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 I, have, hurry, I have cameras. I have cameras. <laughs> cameras cannot get wet. I'm gonna hold the camera. So beach review, I think that uh, my enthusiasm may already given something away. This beach is spectacular, it's huge, it's beautiful. This, the, the ocean is a bit rough, but of course there's the swim hole where you can swim, it's nice. Even the water feels a little bit warmer than at the other beaches, maybe that's my imagination. Still not warm enough for me, but quite okay. At the crowd, yeah, there's, there's almost nobody here, there's some naked people, there's one other couple. A couple of people in bathing suits, but on this side of a beach, like it doesn't really matter. If you if you like more crowded beaches, more social beaches, this may not be the place for you. But if you like nature and if you just like spectacular beaches, this is really a place that you have to add on your itinerary, on your bucket list, whenever you come to Australia. This is spectacular. I think we have about half an hour left before we need to start moving to our campsites. Is Another textile campsite, but tomorrow we're going to Twin Falls. So, I was kind of surprised to find a campsite here that wasn't completely full and that has quite acceptable prices. And it looks really nice, but now I figured out why it's not full. I honestly had no idea that this exists, campings that don't allow alcohol. Apparently, it's owned and operated by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We're in a Christian a religious campsite. So, yeah, we are gonna have a beer, but we're gonna hide it. 
Are you secretly drinking? What do you mean secretly? <laughs> I have nothing to hide. It's water, it's <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> we could have asked this resort to sponsor this video, but we already have a sponsor. Let's not talk about coffee. In fact, I read that caffeine is also not done with the Adventists. And that's another reason why I could never be part of this. But other than that, this is a really nice campsite. People here are super friendly. And this creates this uh, don't judge a book by its cover kind of thing. If we had known from before that this was a religious campsite, we would probably thought it was something weird and never had come here. But now that we're here, it's actually a very agreeable campsite. We could have stayed much longer with the Adventists if we only had the time, but we had different plans. We started on our last 150 kilometers or so of this drive to our next nature's place, to the end of this video. And it's our first nature's club that we're gonna visit in Australia. So I am a bit curious. We've visited nature's places all around the world and some are huge resorts, some are very small clubs. They're all very different, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Will it be something very well hidden in the woods that few people know about? Or will it be very out in the open, promoting naturism? We will Nick? see. Nick, which way? Left or right? <laughs> <laughs> Left. Left? You are the navigator. All right. Making video is more important than navigating. But of course, without navigating, there would be no video or really good video. And then it would, it would also be an option. Hello. Nothing to add to this? No. <laughs> there are no signs. It's a good thing that we got very decent instructions or we would definitely think that we are, took the wrong road. But this is supposed to be the road to Twin Falls. You really have to know where you're going. There's no way you could end up here by accident. Now it's your turn to shine. Somebody is coming, he's not wearing clothes, so I'm gonna turn down the camera. There are quite some similarities between Twin Falls and Bear Camp that we left a couple of days ago. For one, the natural aspect is very important. It's a rather small campsite, we have about 25 pitches here, 25 sites, but it's a huge domain. Here it's about, I believe, 100 acres large. It's all the all nature it's within nature you've seen how long it took us from to get from the road here so this is all just a forest and the nature is kind of different here because bear camp was mostly a desert kind of nature whereas here it's it's rainforest it's beautiful green this place also has a bit more facilities there are there's a common area with games there is a swimming pool of course and there are also, you don't have to camp if you don't want to. There's a cabin, there are rentals, and there are even bed and breakfast guest rooms. And what appears to be the highlight of Twin Falls is a hiking trail of several kilometers through the forest. So that's what we're gonna do. If you are into naked hiking, Australia is a pretty good place to be because there's so much beautiful nature here. So many trails and such large resorts that have forests and places to hike. But if you are a barefooter, you may not want to come to Australia because, yeah, there are still a lot of animals here. We've been advised to put on shoes and to spray the shoes with bug spray. 
because apparently that keeps the leeches away. Well, we'll see about that. Pro Alcite Pregades, if you want to see koalas, you don't have to look into the trees because they're not easy to spot. But you have to look at the floor because they spend a lot of time at the same place and what goes in must come out. So you can see on the floor where they've been. For a campsite this size that is just owned and maintained by two people, you kind of expect that the hiking trails would be of the kind where you better bring your own machete. But these trails are super well maintained. It's really nice. These are the Twin Falls, what the resort is named after. There's not much falling at the moment. It's, uh, yeah, it's summer, it's dry, the creek is dry. We we'll have to use our imagination. If you want to stay fit, you might want to consider becoming an Australian naturist because it doesn't matter whether you go to clips or resorts or to nude beaches, there's always some hiking involved. Of course, many times there's also some beer and barbecue involved. I think we will have another swim and then we will have to start preparing to go to our last stop in Australia. We are going back to Sydney where we're going to visit another naturist resort and where we're going to go on a pretty awesome adventure. But that's for our next video. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up. <laughs> and we just see you next week. Bye. Bye, -bye. The fact that there are almost no, the fact. I don't think that this was our shorted nude piece. Um, Tiagra. For me, it's Tiagra. That was this morning. No. <laughs>